R. Kelly's federal trial in Chicago has begun, and today is a jury selection process. There are 100 people who filled out the jury questionnaires, and 70 of those people said they did not see surviving R. Kelly. Um, nine said they saw it, and the rest of the people said they don't remember if they saw it or not. And um, I don't believe them. I don't believe that 70 out of 100 people did not see Surviving R. Kelly. I think they're lying. And I hope they're not lying to get on this jury so that they can convict R. Kelly because they don't like him. You know, I I, I really hope not. You know, R. Kelly has an uphill battle. He has an uphill battle with this federal trial. The judge has proven that he's not going to be fair. He denied all of McDavid's motions this morning before he started talking to the jurors. He denied McDavid's motion um, about the chain of custody for the video that allegedly features Roshana. He says Roshana is going to get up there and authenticate the video. And as long as Roshana gets up there and say, yeah, that's me in the video, it doesn't matter about Jim Dura Goddess and who copied it and how it got to the point of being in the hands of the prosecutors. It only matters that Roshana gets up on that stand and says, yes, that's me in the video. So um, that's what's going to happen. Um, the judge also denies uh, the request of, to have uh, the communications between Jim Deragatis and Angel Crow be given to the defense. He says, you know, it doesn't matter what Jim Deragatis and Angel Crow were talking about. Um, so the defense won't see any more of those emails. And um, yeah, basically everything that the defense wanted was denied. So we already see how this judge is moving. I think he's bought and paid for. I'm really hoping for a miracle. And I'm hoping that R. Kelly wins this federal case. Because he's facing 55 years in this case. Um, and uh, I don't know. If the judge is going to run anything concurrent, you know, I hate that it has happened to R. Kelly, man. He should have really left the country. He should have really fucking packed up and left the country. I know he wishes he left now after he got acquitted in 2008. He should have left the country. They keep saying he got away with it. R. Kelly got away. Anytime a black man is acquitted fair and square, they always got to say somebody got away with something. They never say Zimmerman got away with it. They never say Casey Anthony got away with it. They always only say got away with it when it comes to black men being rightfully acquitted. You know? It's like, no, nigger, when we put you in jail, you're supposed to remain in jail. When we accuse you of a crime, you're supposed to get convicted of the crime. This is insane. I heard a prosecutor said, well, you know, R. Kelly is appealing his conviction in New York, and it's a good chance that that would be overturned. So it made sense for the feds to continue to prosecute him in Chicago so that he will remain in prison even if they overturn the conviction in New York. I'm like, these people are so demonic. Wow. They're demonic, y'all. We're dealing with some demonic entities. Anything to keep a black man in jail and anything to keep white men out. You notice um, the woman who got Emmett Till lynched, Carolyn Bryant. That bitch is 80-something years old. And the federal government said it won't go and charge her for the lynching of Emmett Till. But they sent Cosby to jail, didn't they? 
They made Cosby do two years, two and a half years, even though he's in his 80s. But they say, oh, she too old. She got cancer. She dying anyway. What's the use of uh, uh, putting her in jail? Y'all put black men in jail, no matter if they got cancer, AIDS, syphilis, no matter what they got. They go. So why can't that old bitch go? She literally got a human being lynched and the federal government has protected her for 70 years. But R. Kelly gets multiple trials. I can't with these people, man. I can't with these people. They're evil. They're evil. R. Kelly has been railroaded like we have never seen. R. Kelly has been railroaded like we have never seen. You never would see a white man get this type of treatment. You're not going to see Marilyn Manson, Charlie Sheen, Woody Allen, or any of these other white celebrities who have been accused of way worse crimes get one-tenth of what R. Kelly is receiving right now. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, y'all. R. Kelly is not, probably not going to get a fair trial in Chicago, y'all. One uh, juror said he saw part of Surviving R. Kelly, but he doesn't remember anything um, important about it. And he thinks he might have fallen asleep. Before it ended. These people lying. These people watch Surviving R. Kelly. How come you, uh, you. Do you think that these people in Chicago. These jurors. Who say they didn't know nothing about it. You think they really didn't know nothing about it. Or are they trying to get on this jury pool. Because they don't like R. Kelly. And they want to convict them. Yeah. They probably should have asked for a change of jurisdiction. They probably should have asked for a change of jurisdiction. But honestly, I think that if he's going to get acquitted, it will be in Chicago. Because Chicago is his home city. Maybe it'll be a fan on the jury. Maybe it'll be two or three fans on the jury. That's what we got to hold out hope for. Maybe it's some fans on the jury who are not going to say that they're fans. And they're going to get in there and they're going to um, they're gonna do the right thing and send him on home. Or at least give a mistrial. Unbelievable, y'all. This is R. Kelly's third trial in his life. This will be R. Kelly's third trial. And um, he still has another one to go in Cook County. That's the state case. And then he has the case in Minnesota, which I think should get fucking dropped. That prostitution charge for that slut in Minnesota who said R. Kelly uh, paid her to dance and she was only 16. And this was back in 2000. I think that should get fucking dropped. How do we know she even met R. Kelly? I don't know who sent our who sent um these people after R. Kelly, man. It must have been it gotta be the Illuminati, man. He pissed somebody off. And I kept saying R. Kelly need to apologize to whichever white man he gotta apologize to. Because um he need to say, okay, I'm not gonna ask for my masters anymore. Y'all just let me be free, let me lay low. Y'all have the masters, y'all have whatever y'all wanna have. I'm just going to stay out of it and stay low. That's what he got to do. I think until he apologizes to whoever's in charge and whoever he pissed off, he'll remain behind bars. You know, he, he, 
This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, y'all. R. Kelly. The judge in R. Kelly's case is um, 85 years old, and he was appointed by Ronald Reagan. He was appointed by Ronald Reagan, so he's been a judge since the 80s. And he's 85 years old. So let's hope he doesn't have any racial biases against R. Kelly. R. Kelly doesn't deserve all this, y'all. He does not. He has been done wrong. The judge is coming up is covering up for these um prosecutors. Miss Krull, Angel Krull is getting away with uh whatever crime she committed. And um I guess uh Jennifer is gonna bring it all up on appeal. I guess Jennifer Bongina is gonna bring it all up on appeal. But I hope in her opening statements that she really puts the federal government on blast and exposes their corruption. Because in opening statements, she can say whatever the fuck she want to say. So let's hope that she really goes hard with the opening statements and the closing statements, because those are very important. Last time we had some terrible opening statements and um, the closing statements where what you call it went wrong. Mr. Uh, Mr. Canick went wrong in the closing statements was when he brought up Dr. King. He shouldn't have brought up Dr. King um, in the closing statements. That was a big mistake. Um, I get what he was trying to do. He was trying to talk about justice. But in a case like this, you can't you can't bring up Dr. King. The only thing you got to bring up is the Constitution. The only thing you got to bring up is the Constitution and put the parents on trial. Say the federal government is corrupt. They're claiming R. Kelly had sex with all these minors, but none of the parents are being charged because they weren't minors. They are lying. None of these people were minors when they had sex with R. Kelly. Yeah, he had sex with them, but he waited until they were 18. That's the defense. You can't prove when R. Kelly had sex with these whores. This was like 30 years ago, 20-some years ago. They went back to when he was in his 20s and early 30s. This is unbelievable. There are no current minors that are taking the sand. We haven't seen any minors yet. We haven't seen any children yet. We have seen women in their 30s and 40s. If this man is a pedophile, there would be two and three and four and five-year-olds taking the stand to say, that man touched me. Instead, you got 35-year-old women, 42, 45-year-old Lizette Martinez, and all these whores from the 90s coming forward to fucking lynch him. That's what they're doing. They're coming forward to fucking lynch him. Minor one is Roshana Lightfair. Minor four is um Tracy Sampson. And I know minor six is Brittany Edwards. Um yeah, I know those three individuals. Minor six is Brittany Edwards. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, and fuck anybody who don't like him.